This is Tennessee in a course uh, for Algebra 1. This is question number 39 on the practice test. It wants to know which number is the solution to 3x minus 19 is greater than 5x minus 7 or 6x minus 27 is greater than 30 plus 3x. So there's a couple ways you can do it. The easiest way is just to go ahead and solve and define what x is. So I'm going to rewrite 3x minus 19 is greater than 5x minus 7. I'm going to show you two methods to do this. The first one is the solution method. Um, so I'm going to get my x's together on the same side. In order to get this 5x over, I need to eliminate it on this side. It's already plus 5. Remember, look at the sign here, not this. This doesn't have anything to do with this. So I need to subtract 5x. Same thing over here. Uh, make sure you subtract from the x's because they're like terms. Or they both have, they'd both be the same color because one has x and the other one doesn't. Both red or blue or whatever. Uh, now, you do negative 2x minus 19. I'm going to add 19 to get rid of minus 19. If I do it over there, I have to do it over here as well. So negative 7 plus 19 equals 12. And I get negative 2x. So in order to solve this, I'm going to get rid of times negative 2 by dividing. Now, I divided by a negative in that last step there, so I need to flip this over. So one of my possible limitations, or one of my limitations on x, is that it is less than negative 6. So if I can find something that's less than negative 6, uh, I'm in pretty good shape. And there's one right there. So it's looking very likely that 39 is going to be a. But let's continue on with the problem. I'm going to move over here and do the other one. 6x minus 27 is greater than 30 plus 3x. Draw my line, get my x's together like I did before, eliminating from one side and doing the same thing to the other side. Uh, to get rid of minus 27, I'm going to add 27. Fifty-seven. And so x is, I'm dividing by 3 here, I'm sorry, forgot that step. And since I divided by a positive, I do not have to flip this over. So in this case, x is greater than 19. Now, this one's a little bit different than most of the ones that you end up doing when you solve these. They don't want to know uh, what the solution looks like. This doesn't say x is greater than 19. It says which number is a solution to it. There's no equal to sign here. So you can't say that x being 19 and, oh, there's 19 right there is the answer because it's not. It wants to know a number greater than 19. There are none greater than 19, so you have to look at this one. X is less than negative 6. Well, negative 19 is less than negative 6. So this is a possible solution uh, to my answer choice. So if I were to plot it on a graph, say, it would look like here's 19. I would have that unfilled circle, and it would go up. And then down at negative 6, I would leave that circle unfilled, and I would go down. Well, this is the only number that would fall into this solution set, so that's my answer. Now, if you don't want to do it that way, that way is too long, you don't like that method. There's a couple ways that you can actually go about. Uh, uh, there's another way that you can sort of go about making it happen, which is to kind of look around for a true statement. If I can get enough of some paper here to show you. What I'm going to do is plug in my answer choices. I'm going to plug in negative 19 as my x into the first one. So there it is. So I'm going to see if what I've done makes a true statement. This side gives me negative 76. This side gives me negative 102. Negative 76 is greater than negative 102, so I'm looking good to make sure that that's the answer choice. Now, if I had done it with negative 5, for instance, this is what it would look like if it was a 5. So I'm going to try that method as well, just in case you didn't like the other method of doing it the long way. This is negative 34 once I work it out. And all I'm doing is plugging in my answer to see if it works. This is negative 34 is greater than negative 32. Well, we know that's not true. So it's not going to be negative 5 unless negative 5 happens to work in the other one. So 
you do 6 parentheses negative 5 minus 27 is greater than 30 plus 3 times negative 5. So the first side would give me negative 57. This side gives you 15. We know that negative 57 is not bigger. Sorry, I just plugged in negative 5 into the second set up here to see if it would work. It didn't do any good for me. Um, so basically, if you get one of those to work, you're good. That's a solution set. It makes a true statement. So if you want to use a substitution method, do that. If you want to prove it to yourself, just make sure you do it the right way and that you find something in the solution set and you don't just pick this answer. Now, if it had an equal to sign, then yeah, 19 would work. But in most cases, it doesn't when they ask what number is the solution. It's like a little code to you that you're not going to look for a single number. You're going to look for a number in a set.